Hey guys and welcome to July's Loot Crate and um, this month's theme is animation. I'm not sure about any what the, what the themes are in this box so let's get straight into um, getting it open. Um, it's quite a thin box this month so I can't see there being like any queue figs or anything in it but you never know so let's get it open and find out what's inside. Um, got my trusty scissors. Hopefully it's a good box that, you know, they could do plenty of um, things for animation, you know. 80s classics, Simpsons, South Park, Futurama, um, 90s classics, there's, you know, Scooby-Doo, all sorts. So let's have a look. I'm not going to look inside the box. Um, I'll put it here and then I'll look what you can get. And I've got the t-shirt. Oh, it's a nice um, green. That's quite nice. I do like that. That's good. Um, a bit creased, so you might not be able to see it, but it's the turtles. It's a bit, bit, bit strange. The the actual picture being there on and not in the centre. But if you look closely, there's like a, a shell design. And it's a Loot Crate exclusive turtle logo there. So yeah, I do actually like that. That's pretty good. Nice turtles t-shirt there. And I like the colour. I, I, I really like the green. You don't get many green ones. You, you get like blues and blacks mainly. Um, next up is... I don't know what this is. Bob's Burgers. Um... The Bob's Burgers Burger Box. The Bob's Burgers Burger Book. So it's a book. I think it's a book of burger recipes, maybe. I'm not going to open it. Never really watched Bob's Burgers, so I'm not sure what the program's about. I'm assuming it's about Bob and he owns a burger. You know, a place. A diner or whatever. Um, never really watched it, though. So, and that's the back. I assume that's Bob and his family. But yeah, uh, it's a 20th Century Fox. And again, it's a it's a Loot Crate product. So that's good. You know, at least it's an official thing. It's either a book or some, like, cards or whatever. Just to tell you recipes. Um, but yeah, Bob's Burgers. Uh, next is... the hell's this? Future Armour Koozie 2 Pack. What the hell's a koozie? <laughs> don't know. What's that say? Slurm. See, I don't really want to open any of these because I might not have them. <laughs> might end up selling them or something. They look like a... What the hell's a koozie? Do I know what a koozie is? Again, 20th Century Fox. Is this like a 20th Century Fox thing? Um, another Loot Crate exclusive. I don't know who he is. I used to watch Futurama, but I can't remember that character. Um, yeah. Doesn't like something that like goes on your arms. There's like two of them in the pack. I've got no idea what this is. Okay. Koozie 2 pack. Fair enough. Um, that's the book. Right, the loot pin is a Bob's Burgers loot pin. So, okay, I suppose it's not the greatest loot pin I've ever seen. But there's the July 2017 animation. Um, so, yeah. Decent pin, not the greatest, like I said. And uh, what can I feel here? I can only feel the book and something else. So there's like... Five items if you include the pin. And last but not least is a Rick and Morty uh, figure, I think. And for some reason, explicit content. So... See, I wasn't going to open it, but I'm gonna, I am want. I need to see what's in this. So... I'm not going to bore you by opening this, so... Shazam! Got it out of its cellophane. 
some like cats on the side there. Never seen Rick or Rick and Morty either. Like watching it, like seeing pictures of it, I always thought it was a kids' cartoon, but I don't actually think it is. I think it is a bit adulty. Obviously, uh, you know, you got explicit content. Um, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. I can't actually get him out. To be honest, I'm not gonna get him out of that. It's not gonna take too long, but he's um, sticking the fingers up, the bird or whatever. And there's a stand at the back. So yeah, a decent figure, but it's not something I'd want, really. I've got a Rick and Morty t-shirt, which I wear. Um, I think I got that of a loot crate. But it's it's kind of like a, a design, a diagram of like a laser gun or something. So it's not really, it is pretty cool. It's like blueprints of a laser gun. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a decent figure, but it's not something I'd buy. Um, but yeah, Rick and Morty. Um, yeah, and that's it. Just a book now. I'll show you inside the box first. It's Bob's Burgers again. Uh, burger of a day. The Loot Great egg, egg Exclusive Burger. $5.95. I'm not sure what that actually makes. I, you know, but I'll tell you in this book. July's theme is animation. And there's the and the famous We Love You on the back, like they have on all the books. Um, t-shirt with an half shell, total power. It's a really nice t-shirt, That I, I do like that t-shirt. Um, and we'll be wearing that. By our burger of the day. All oh, right. After over 20 years of absence, the 90s returned animation to primetime with The Simpsons. Ending our long nightmare of only being able to watch cartoons while the sun was out. Years later, Fox would give us another family to love. The Belchers. One of our favourite parts of Bob's Burgers are the many Burger of a Day specials. Spiced um, with delicious puns. That's why we couldn't resist uh, including 25 unselected recipes, including vegetarian options, from the Bob's Burgers cookbook. Printed on sturdy, approximately 5 inch by 7 inch cards. They come in a box designed to look like the restaurant, right? So they are cars, and they've got like burger design, you know, bur burger design, burger recipes on the cars. So that's interesting, you know. And I do like burgers. How to build Bob's Burgers with Bernard Derriamin? Yeah. And read the uh, loop pin. So they do like the Bob's. Right, right. I get it now. They do like the Bob's Burgers um, theme this month, and I get the Future Armor thing. Um, the Slurm branded drink koozies, they're for drinks, they go around the cans. That will keep your 12 ounce soda cans cooler for longer. Right, I get it. So they go around the cans and apparently keep it cooler for longer. So I get that now. I didn't know what they were before. Um, I tell them it means peace among the worlds, the Rick and Morty figure. It does look pretty good actually. Um, so they do a Marvel crate now. Alright, that got, it creates the Bob's Burgers specials board. Um, some loot crates, the fantastic Guardians um, Rocket and Groot Q fig there. Couple of pe people in the fantastic Goonies T-shirt that I got. Um, mega crate there. Not going to read everything out. I'll just show you what they are. The giant Groot. He looks good. And some adverts for loot wear and loot anime. So yeah. <laughs> If I'm honest, I'm quite disappointed with this box, you know, because half the stuff I don't watch. I like the Turtles t-shirt, that's really good. Um, and I don't really care about anything else. So in a way, it's quite dis all, all the things they could have put from animation, you know, 80s classics, you know, it, it kind of... They kind of make sense, in a way. Well, three of the items, Bob's Burgers, Rick and Morty and Futurama, 
you know, they're kind of like the cartoons, more more mature cartoons aimed at adults, whereas the Turtles is an 80s classic, so, they, you know, they should have put, like, some South Park in or something other than Turtles, but that's the odd one out. But I would have liked, like, I do like the Turtles product. I'd have liked some South Park, some Simpsons, you know, Thundercats, Ghostbusters, Transformers, you know, X-Men the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series. Um... Yeah, Futurama, I used to watch that. I don't watch it anymore. Never seen Bob's Burgers and never seen Rick and Morty. So, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in this box. I was expecting more and didn't get it, really. So, let me know down below, guys. What do you think of this box? Do you actually like it? Did you subscribe and were you disappointed? Um, let me know in the comment section. Like and share my channel, guys. And remember, stay heroic.